welcome back this is Angelic Fireheart. So I decided that for today's episode we will be working on our animal farm and I decided that we should use the warp shop and get ourselves some livestock. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, warp there and I'll see you guys once we arrive. Okay guys, so we are here at the shop. So if you run over here you see that you can buy one mushroom egg for only $10. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and point out this sign over here mainly because I also want you guys to follow this that way you can help get the server noticed if you vote every single day you get one hundred dollars in survival now you can also vote in battleground but it doesn't really give you the one hundred dollars for survival so do this every single day that you play it really can help you out and then uh, nah I don't want to name tags like maybe you should name the mushrooms but nah let's not do it so I will see you guys in just a minute whenever we are back at our base. Okay, so we are back at our base. I figured that we could start off by first replacing this charcoal and then using a whole lot of these wooden planks and some of the already in place sticks uh, in order to make some fences. So let's get some more wooden planks. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I'm going to keep that so that way I can just make it easier for that. We'll take out half of those. If I remember correctly, no, this is fence gates. My bad. This is the new, makes no sense to me as to why f for the oak fences, but it still is the oak fence recipe now. Um, not at all what I meant to do. There we go. Just do it that way. A little bit weird. Okay, there we go. So let's just make a very small pin. Ooh, looks like we already have some wheat that has grown. This will be great for helping us to breed some more cows. Let's get that wheat down there and let's swift swim over there and get that one. Okay. Oh, and we have even more right here. My bad. As you guys saw, I accidentally destroyed one of the wheat that was not fully grown, but that is okay because we can just let it regrow. So I figured that right over here, this little tiny outcrop that I can cut down these trees. Oops, I forgot to build us an axe. <laughs> My bad. So, let's take this. Build ourselves. <laughs> Don't need that. A new axe. And there we go. So, let's start getting into here for this. Let's destroy this one too, because we can easily replant these trees somewhere else. Like right up there on that hill, for example. There we go. And now they already have been moved. So let's build a small little tiny pin right here. We'll create a little tiny walkway, two by two, of course. And we will keep that same pattern here. So let's destroy this one right here. I'll come back in later and uh, actually put in some oak fences. Just right now, I'm not. Simply because, or uh, some fence gates for us, so that way we can easily get in out of the pin. I'm not doing that right now because I forgot, so I do not have any gates. Apparently, sapling counts as a building block you cannot use air spout with. There we go. You hear that, or I think the server might have just been lagging a bit after using tree feller. <clears throat> so let's then build this back just a bit, and we will build it extra extra long there we go now let's place down our wonderful little mushrooms and then let's ta-da breed the two together and now we have a total of three mushrooms now this will be great for milking uh, as well as what I am hoping or what I'm definitely looking forward to dun 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 bowls you guys probably guess what is about to happen boom 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 now this is a great source of food if I'm at my house, at my base, and I want to just easily get quick hunger just to restore. Say, you know, I'm only missing half a bar. You know, there's not really a big point of wasting a whole entire loaf of bread for that or, you know, a whole entire steak. So that's what this is for. Whenever I travel, I'm still going to use my bread or my steak or, you know, cooked pork, cooked chicken, mutton. Who knows what other livestock I may be having soon. But for now, that is our little tiny source of food for it house. 
Now let's check on this farm real quick yet again. It is growing a lot faster now. Much, much faster. Fill in that, and let's fill in all of these. Ah, just too short. So, let's go back down to the mine. And I was thinking, I believe we are deep enough that we can start branching off uh, from the mine, branching off from the mine. So let's start this. I'm thinking we can do it here. And we could probably do it like every other step. So I'll just go ahead and get it started so that way we can see the pattern. And I'll go back down and I will start and work my way up. Ooh, some iron. Nice. I picked it all up. Yep, I did. Okay, so let's go back down the bottom. And of course, I will be doing it on the other side as well. Although that also has the river, so I'll be a lot more careful as to not accidentally mine into the river. So we found some granite and we found a spider web. Um, apparently, we have a stronghold. Or, no, not a stronghold, a abandoned mine shaft here. Uh, so that's pretty lucky for us so here is some iron ore nice nice we can use this string to make wool for a bed I was thinking we needed to hunt for some sheep and shear them but apparently we don't have to now yes I do have a faction yes my faction has a lot of items no I do not plan to be using those at all for the survival series I'm going to try my best to keep this as legit as I possibly can, just mainly because if I wanted to be showing off my faction stuff, I would do that separate from the survival series. This will be my little tiny survival house that we have up there, with my own survival items that I will keep separate from my faction and my normal play-to-play -play items. I may show you guys some items inside one of my bags here, in, or inside my bag here in a bit, just to show you guys I do have other items. As you can see, this is my bag right now. I have two water buckets, water bottles, a stack of bones, lead, an amazing fishing rod, good pick, arrows, bow. I have a sword, two axes, a shovel, a silk touch, and then some nice armor. <clears throat> that is for whenever I am playing without being on the survival part of the series or for whenever I get into a war with another faction. However, I do not want to use that for us on the survival series. Who knows, maybe we can get our own armor from playing legit, finding some diamonds, getting an enchantment table. I bet you we probably could. Creeper, I heard it coming, but I could not stop it in enough time. So, back to mining. Luckily, he could not destroy any of the coal or anything because it was too high. I you guys were thinking, probably as soon as I heard the hiss, I should have destroyed. Uh, activated air shield however I just didn't think about it because all of a sudden I was like oh my gosh where is he I just kind of panicked I guess in a way don't really know if that's the right word to say but yeah I guess you could say that's how it would work and there we go we now have 16 string. I think that is enough to make a bed. No idea, so I'll just keep on mining. And I heard a skeleton now. So, there's a skeleton somewhere. Fancy. What am I getting a bow? So if I have to use this string, you know, because they can drop bows, and then I can easily just repair the bow. Ooh, a creeper and an enderman. Okay, so let's activate warrior stance. If, in case you guys have not seen the tutorial, it gives you strength and resistance. And now, let's charge into battle. There we go. Okay, let's take out the Innerman 2 while we are in here. So for some reason, my warrior stance keeps on deactivating. I don't know why. Uh, that can actually be pretty bad for in case you're in a battle, you know, because it does give you strength and resistance. So in case you are relying on that strength and resistance buff, well, <laughs> let's hope yours does not deactivate like mine. <laughs> Let's grab this iron, and I think we should be able to head on right back up. Yep, 
Yep, I think we have enough, so let's just head straight back up onto our house. I can remember the way. Follow the torches. Oh, yay, and I'll just do this, so that way we can find it easier. So I will see you guys back up at the house. And we are back up top, guys, so let's just get on in here. Let's put some iron ore inside of the top of that as well as put in our iron place in our coal <clears throat> and then let's just start sorting through some stuff so I will be right back hopefully all of this will be smelted by then I'll see you guys actually I think this is a good place to go and end the episode so next episode all of this will have been finished smelting and we can start working on a new project maybe like I said we can explore go find a desert for some cactus or plains for some acacia or maybe even like a dark oak wood forest for mushrooms and dark oak trees who knows we'll just have to wait and see what happens I'll see you guys next time